By the end of this lecture, you will understand the steps to configure direct routing and SIP trunks in Microsoft Teams. Direct routing allows Microsoft Teams to integrate with your existing PSTN connectivity via an SBC, a session border controller. It is a flexible alternative to Microsoft calling plans, which enables businesses to use that existing SIP trunk or telephony provider, maintain control over call routing and policies, and integrate with legacy systems like PBS. So how it works is Teams uses the SBC to route calls to and from the PSTN. The SBC acts as a bridge between Teams and your telephony provider. And the configuration involves linking the SBC to Teams via direct route. So before you get started for direct routing, make sure that users are assigned a phone system license in Microsoft 365. For PSTN calling, users also need a domestic or international calling plan. And this is optional for direct routing. Now, a certified SBC is required for it. Common SBC vendors are Audio Codes, Ribbon, or Cisco Q. SIP signaling ports should be open. So 5061 for TLS and media ports um, on the firewall. QoS configuration, which you want to make sure that you prioritize Teams traffic for voice and video. And ensure that DNS records for the SBC fully qualified domain name are properly configured. Now, when you're configuring direct routing in Teams, you would first set up the SBC. So you would configure the SBC to connect with Microsoft Teams. Define, you would define the SIP signaling settings and apply certificates for secure TLS communication. And then enable routing rules on the SBC to handle incoming and outgoing calls. The second step is you would configure the SBC in Microsoft Teams. So you would log into the Teams Admin Center navigate to voice and direct routing, and add the new SBC. So you would enter the SBC's fully qualified domain name, configure SIP signaling parameters, and assign an appropriate SIP trunk. The third step would be to define voice routing policies. So it, you would create a voice route. You would specify the pattern, and you can use this pattern as an example for North American calls. And you associate that route with the SBC. You will create a voice routing policy and combine, basically you will combine the multiple voice routes into a policy and assign this policy to users. And your step four would be just to assign the dial plans, which would you would configure dial plans to normalize numbers. So maybe four digit dialing, you will convert one, two, three, four to the full E164 number, which is that plus one and then the full number. And you would assign these dial plans to users in this Teams Admin Center. Now, when it comes to configuring trunks, SIP trunks, a SIP trunk provides the connection between the SBC and your telephony provider or PBX. It carries call signaling and media for external calls. So when it comes to configuring, on the SBC, you would define the SIP trunk settings. So that would be the provider uh, FQDN, the Codex, transport protocol, and configure authentication for the trunk, the username, password, or um, certified based or certificate based. And then on the telephony provider side, you it would share the SBC's FQDN and IP address for registration and verify incoming outgoing call capabilities. So you definitely want to test this. You would place a test call to verify connectivity between Teams, the SBC, and the PSTN. So you would need to get your telephony provider involved. So when you're testing just direct routing and SIP trunks, internal call is you just want to verify Teams to Teams calls within the organization work. External calls, you want to make sure an outbound call to the PSTN through the SBC and SIP trunk works just fine. And then inbound call and then test is just to receive an inbound call from the PSTN to a Teams user. Now, when it comes to troubleshooting and monitoring, there are some tools. So with the monitoring tools, you have call analytics, which monitors the call quality for individual users. You got the CQD, the call quality dashboard, which analyzes overall call performance. 
And you can also check the SBC logs. You can check signaling and media flow between Teams and the SBC. Some common issues can be when the call fails, you can definitely check the SIP trunk registration and routing policies. Maybe you have one-way audio. You can verify that the media port configuration and firewall settings are good. Or certificate errors. Make sure that the SBC certificate matches its fully qualified domain name and is trusted by Teams. The benefits of this direct routing is just use a uh, cost saving with using that existing telephony contracts instead of relying on Microsoft calling plans. Uh, you can customize routing for specific call flows to allow for that flexibility. And you can expand your capacity by adding SIP trunks or SBC, so it's great for scale. Just to bring it full circle here, direct routing is a flexible way to connect Microsoft Teams to your existing telephony system. And configuring SIP trunks and SBCs is essential for enabling PSTN calling. And testing and monitoring is great to ensure a smooth deployment. So in the next lecture, we'll cover dial plan design in Microsoft Teams, focusing on normalization rules and call routing policies.